investigators still trying to figure out what caused a driver to barrel into a home in Northeast Harris County, barely missing a family sleeping inside. The driver, 19 year old Roberto Gutierrez, believed to be driving at at least 80 miles per hour when he went through those walls. Family says they're lucky to be alive. Now they want answers. You, you work hard and you have your home and then all of a sudden it's taken away, you know, in the matter of an eye that it's gone. A gaping hole, massive amounts of debris, pieces of drywall and wooden beams are all that's left of this home here in the Cloverleaf area after a white 4x4 pickup truck came barreling through the front of this home in the middle of the night. Once they pulled it out and they were able to check the truck and they saw the um, odometer where it read, a little over 80 miles per hour. So we're thinking that's where it could have been even uh, more. He may have been going maybe 90, but it was 80 when they pulled it out. The family says it happened around 1 a.m. They heard a loud bang and came out to find the truck in their living room and dining room area, practically on their back porch. The family of five, two adults and three young children were sleeping in their rooms behind the garage. Incredibly, this red truck in the garage stopped the white truck from going through to their bedrooms. Just goodness that the kids were asleep in their rooms because normally, you know, summertime, they would probably be in the front room playing. And neighbors say this is a quiet neighborhood. It's so scary that something like this could happen here. It happened to them. We can't happen to the us, you know. Mm -hmm. Feel so bad. <laughs> And officials say they don't yet know the exact circumstances of the crash. If this was medically related or the driver was under the influence, we're also still waiting to see what charges 19 year old Roberto Gutierrez could possibly face. He was taken away in an ambulance from that crash with some minor injuries. No one else was hurt.